Investing in stocks that pay dividends is a smart move, but there's one problem. Most of these stocks only pay out every three months. That can feel like a long wait if you're relying on this money for regular expenses, but what if there was a way to get around this? In this video, we will show you and John how, with a special mix of stocks portfolio, you can get paid every month. We'll show you stocks that are a perfect fit to pay four times a month. In the end, we'll show you how these stocks, along with dividends, will also increase your investment value as an added bonus, even when you don't reinvest your dividends. For this to work, it's absolutely necessary to have a perfect portfolio of 12 stocks that pay quarterly dividends and pay on dates that do not coincide with other stocks. Also, make sure these are high yield and borderline safe stocks in which to invest. Sounds like huge research, but John has already made it easy for you with a selection of 12 stocks that fit perfectly for cash flow every week. First, we'll look at these 12 stocks, see why these stocks make sense in this portfolio, and then in a later part of the video, we'll demonstrate how this portfolio pays every week of the month. Let's start with the company that has the lowest dividend yield, work our way up to the highest, and see why these companies are in this portfolio in the first place. The first pick for our every week cash flow portfolio is Armada Hoffler Properties Incorporated. Known by the ticker symbol AHH, this stock is a real estate investment trust focused on developing, building, and managing commercial and residential properties. With a dividend yield of 7.29%, it sits below the average for REITs, reflecting its stable but cautious dividend policy. This stock adds value to the portfolio by offering a balance of growth and income, suitable for conservative investors seeking steady returns. Now, while AHH offers a conservative approach, the next stock, Delic Logistics Platforms, known by the ticker symbol DKL, is from the slightly higher yielding energy sector. With its dividend yield of 8.49%, it's a smart pick for the portfolio because it deals with the movement and storage of oil and oil products, which are always in demand. This focus on a key part of the energy business makes DKL less affected by the ups and downs that oil companies often face. Also, this company works with big, reliable companies on long-term deals, which means it has a steady flow of money coming in. This helps support its high dividend. By adding DKL to the portfolio, we get a stable source of income from a very important part of the energy industry. From the robust energy sector, we shift to healthcare real estate with Physicians Realty Trust. Known by the ticker symbol DOC, this healthcare facility REIT, Physicians Realty Trust, offers a slightly higher yield than the average in its sector. Its focus on healthcare properties, a sector known for stability and long term growth potential, makes DOC a prudent choice for risk averse investors. This addition strategically balances high-yield risks with sector stability. Next is CTO Realty Growth Incorporated, ticker CTO. This company is engaged in acquiring and managing a diverse portfolio of retail and office properties. Its yield of 9.17% is attractive, particularly given the recovering retail sector post-pandemic. CTO's inclusion in this portfolio leverages the potential upswing in consumer spending. It also adds diversity in terms of asset types, but also brings geographical diversity, spreading across different regions of the United States, thereby mitigating regional market risks. And most importantly, it's a strategic pick for growth-oriented investors. Something we'll see in the end is how this portfolio not only pays in dividends every week, but also increases the investment valuation over time. Okay, back to our portfolio. Our fifth stock is Altria Group Incorporated. Known by the ticker symbol MO, this company is a leader in the tobacco industry, offering a 9.54% dividend yield. This high yield reflects the company's strong cash flow and commitment to shareholder returns, despite the challenges facing the tobacco industry. MO's role in the portfolio is to provide robust dividend income backed by a company with a long history of financial stability in a traditionally stable industry. 
Continuing with consumer-focused companies, MetaFast, a.k.a. Med, is an interesting contrast in the health and wellness sector as it offers weight management and nutrition products. Its 9.89% yield is impressive, supported by strong consumer demand and effective business strategies. In fact, its consistent dividend payments are wholly credited to operational efficiency and market success. Med's inclusion diversifies the portfolio into the growing wellness industry, capitalizing on the increasing global focus on health. Vanek BDC Income ETF BIDZ, with a dividend yield of 10.82%, is our next pick. BIZD offers investors exposure to a portfolio of business development companies. These companies provide financing to small and mid-sized businesses, a sector often overlooked by traditional banks, and also areas typically inaccessible to average investors. BIZD's role in the portfolio is to tap into the potential of this niche market, offering both income and growth opportunities, thereby adding an element of both diversification and potential high income. Next is Saratoga Investment Corp. Ticker SAR, with a current dividend yield of 11.2%. Saratoga is a specialty finance company that provides customized financing solutions to middle market businesses, a niche that offers both high returns and diversification benefits. The inclusion of SAR in this portfolio is strategic, capitalizing on its ability to generate substantial income through interest payments and its disciplined investment approach. From the specialized financing solutions of Saratoga, we move to the Vanek Mortgage REIT Income ETF, MORT, which has a remarkable 13.56% dividend yield. MORT's inclusion provides exposure to the mortgage finance sector, which can offer attractive returns during periods of stable or declining interest rates. This choice adds a layer of diversification in financial instruments to the portfolio. Mort's place in this portfolio is anchored by its ability to offer both diversification and a high, consistent income stream, crucial for the aim of weekly cash flow generation. Continuing the theme of high-yield real estate investments is Arbor Realty Trust, Incorporated ABR, another real estate investment option that brings a slightly different focus to the portfolio. Specializing in multifamily and commercial real estate loans, this stock offers a healthy dividend yield of 14.09%. Arbor's focus on high-yield, short-duration loans makes it an attractive choice for generating consistent high-income returns, aligning well with the portfolio's goal of achieving weekly cash flow. Next up, we have Natural Health Trends Corp. NHTC, with a current dividend yield of 15.18%. NHTC, with its global direct selling and e-commerce platform, offers personal care and wellness products, tapping into the global trend towards health consciousness. Plus, the dividend yield of 15.8% reflects NHTC's aggressive growth strategy and successful expansion in international markets. Its inclusion in the portfolio offers a balance between high yield and exposure to the rapidly growing e-commerce sector. Finally, we arrive at Euronav NV, E-U-R-N. This stock stands out with a substantial 17.72% dividend yield. This company is one of the largest independent tanker companies in the world and specializes in transportation and storage of crude oil. The company's yield is significantly higher than the average in the crude oil shipping industry. EURN's inclusion in this portfolio is driven by its robust fleet operations, global presence, and strong market position, which enables stable and high-income generation. So each of these stocks contributes uniquely to the portfolio, offering a blend of high yields, sector diversity, and strategic positioning for income and growth. Now, why this particular selection of stocks, you may ask? The answer is in their payment periods. All of these stocks pay quarterly dividends, and most have a payment period different from the next one. 
Using this portfolio, we can make sure that we have at least four dividend-paying stocks each month, one for each week, hence the steady cash flow. So let's say John invests $10,000 in each stock, which will bring his total investment to $120,000. Looks high, but this initial investment has a purpose too, killing two birds with one stone, something we'll show you in the end. Starting our timeline with January, not the most attractive month when it comes to dividends, but there are a few stocks that pay dividends at the very end of the year that are carried forward to January. And these stocks in this portfolio are BIZD, MORT, AHH, and DOC. These stocks will have their first quarterly dividend payment in January in our portfolio. We then have four completely different stocks that pay their quarterly dividends in February, including EURN, DKL, NHTC, and CTO. Then, four different stocks pay quarterly dividends in March, and this goes on for every month, where at least four stocks will pay in each quarter, making sure you have dividend cash flows every week of the month. And if you're wondering which stocks will pay you which month, for this portfolio, it should actually look something like Exhibit 1. And since we know what each stock pays in dividends, as we discussed in the first half of our video, it should look something like Exhibit 2. Knowing all these are quarterly paying stocks, all we have to do is use our dividend formula, which is our investment multiplied by the dividend yield divided by 4. Since we're investing $10,000 in each stock, it should look something like this for each payment date. $10,000 multiplied by a stock's dividend yield divided by 4. And for our first cash flow, which is BIZD, one of the four stocks that'll pay us in January, it'll have a dividend payout of $270. And the best part, it is only the first of four cash flows of the month. Soon the next stock, MORT, will pay $339, followed by AHH at $182 and DOC at $204.80 bringing our first month cash flows to $996.50 for January. This will continue for the months of February, March, April, and so on up to December, then restart again in January, a non-stop cycle of consistent cash flows. And the absolute best part, unlike normal dividend investments where you have to wait for a month or in some cases a whole year for the company to announce dividends, this strategy makes sure that you start to get paid from the very first month after you invest. In fact, the very first week, not to mention you're paid consistently four times a month. Now, if you're wondering what the entire timeline looks like, stretching out the whole year's cash flow, the cash flow will look something similar to Exhibit 4. This will be the case for every year, but there will also be the case of capital appreciation for invested capital every year. Based on the last 10 years' data of each stock, this portfolio has an average annual capital appreciation yield of 5%. This means that, along with the dividends received in the first year, there will also be an increase of $6,012 in value for the investment itself. This video talked about 12 dividend stocks that are arranged in a way for you to have cash flow every week of the month. But maybe you want to keep it simple and get paid once every month. For this, watch our video on 6 highest paying monthly dividend stocks.